Hello guys, uh, in this video we are going to solve this problem which is also from Pathfinder. This is from the chapter electrostatics and uh, from technical understanding problem number 20. You can try it once and then come back. So yeah, let's start. Three identical particles, each of mass m and charge q are connected by light inextensible non-conducting threads are held in free space with the threads connecting the central particle to the other two by making an angle less, slightly less than 180 degrees as shown in the figure. Both the threads are of length L, all particles are simultaneously released, find, find the period of oscillations in the system. So yeah, in this, what we can observe, uh, first of all is that the center of mass will be at uh, rest at all times. It will have no velocity as there is no external force on the system and initially the system was at rest. So first of all, uh, let's assume, uh, uh, let's assume that uh, uh, the angle made is theta with the horizontal as shown in the table. So, uh, and uh, finally, uh, by symmetry, we can say that the central particle at mean position will have a velocity of 2v and the other two will have a velocity of v because uh, the momentum will also be conserved. So, from here, what we can get is that uh, by energy conservation, here k q square over k going to 2 by r into 2 plus a q square over 2 l for theta and initial kinetic energy was 0 equals to final kinetic energy which will be 2 times half into m v square plus half into m into 2 v square plus k q square by l times 2 plus kq square by 2l right so from here we can see that uh, the kq square by l times 2 term gets cancelled and what we are left with here is uh, mv square plus here it is mv square and uh, 4mv square then 2mv square 3mv square equals to k q square by 2L multiplied by 1 by cos theta minus 1. Okay. So from here, what we get is k q square by 2L times 1 minus cos theta over cos theta. Right. Now, as theta is a small angle, cos theta approximately equals to 1 minus theta squared over 2. So, what we get is k q squared by 2L multiplied by the numerator uh, gets theta squared sorry, theta squared by 2 and the denominator is approximately 1. The small changes in the denominator won't matter as such. So, finally, what we get here is that 3m v squared equals to k q squared over 4l. Yeah. And what else can we observe here is that the value of theta, sorry, theta equals to approximately equals to 3x over l as theta is a small angle. Right. So substituting that here, what we get is 3x over l. And so what we get here is 3mv squared equals to k q square into 9x square over l square over o l. So 3 cancel from here and we get in mv squared equals to 3k q squared x squared over L Q. Now we need to uh, find the equation of motion, or like uh, this is, we can observe that this is a SHM. So to prove that, let's differentiate this one uh, so that we get an uh, expression and uh, we can find the time period. So here we get that 2 and V into we, are, we differentiated both both sides with respect to time t times uh, we acceleration uh, differentiate of velocity is acceleration equals to 3 k q squared over 4 l cube 
times 2x into x dot which is equal to velocity so we can cancel v and x dot here so what we get here is 2ma equals to 3kq square over sorry this is 3 3 kq squared over 4 l q into x and this to continue. So we get an equation of SHM here where omega squared from the from normal notation we get omega squared equals to 3 k q squared over 4 m l q. So the time period for the motion here is equal to 2 pi over omega which is equal to 2 pi root 4 m l q pi 3 k q squared and that's the time period of the motion thank you